Hello, friends. Now we are in Yuhua Tai Park. This is a big communist entertainment park. It is for the purpose of memorize all the people martyrs who died for striving for the freedom of Chinese people. So this whole park is very big and open, and most of the place are actually forest. So it's a good place for people to have a walk here, and it's very safe place for communist party. And they build a great museum here. So you can see the history of Communist Party and the people who fight for the new country, new China. And the interesting thing is that when you get through this museum, you can see great view, a monument. Mm -hmm. Let's see. There must be a monument, yes. Always. Yes. Actually, I already visited this place many times because no matter what, the Communist Party will organize people to come here as an activity for the collective activities to visit place like this, like memorize place and museum. So it's very important to educate people of this history part and uh, the whole picture of the country, of the party. Yeah. Even I visited here already. <laughs> Good, it's a moment to educate you. So you, you have to learn to love the country, love our party, love our people. I have one people from you which I love physically. You love me, you love my country. Love a country, love me. <laughs> this is National Aten. Why don't you show? Show. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> we have another song. It is an international song, Athen of international communist. Socialist, actually. Socialist. <laughs> I think it's a French song, actually. Melody um, is very nice, I, my opinion. He really? Mm. Okay, you are so brainwashed that you think it's nice. Let's go. It really looks like somebody really wanted to have a longer monument than the others. <laughs> longer, is it? So we have a few hundreds of innocent children here ready to be poisoned by the national propaganda i experienced this thousands of times already every city has its own place of education that the children will be organized here or oh, not only children like people workers and so people will be organized to come here to show their respect and mm. to educate them to love your country love the so just to give a little bit of feedback for the people who are not familiar with the history of China, after the last dynasty fell, there was a beginning of the democratic country in China. It started in what, 1917, 1916? And, and the, the father creator of the modern China was Sun Yansen? Yes. Right. And he tried, and he and his kind of, you know, whatever, how we can call it, party. Guomindang. Guomindang, yes. They tried to organize the modern Chinese country in a democratic way. And then, of course, there was this uh, splendid new idea coming from Soviet Union, promoting so-called socialism. And socialist movement in China started in Shanghai. We've, we've been there, nothing special. And, and there was a civil war which ended in 1949. And this whole amusement park is supposed to memorize the, how to say it, the struggle and sacrifice of Chinese people who were fighting for communist China. Good, very moderate statement. Okay, let's go to another attraction. <laughs> I mean, really, after watching this museum after visiting you will feel that oh 
the love of your country is just coming up from bottom that you feel so proud of your like country. The, like the like sometimes when people uh, ate the bad bad dinner the and the, everything right. comes comes out from your body and you no, vomit no, through no, your not mouth. That, yes. Not that, not that. <laughs> and you will be so shamed, so shamed of those people who betray your country and say information and all the secret to abroad country, foreign countries. And and who took the money away from China to other countries. Actually, our national item is playing, so we should stand still and uh, show respect. And uh, if there is a flag raising, then you should uh, face towards the flag and uh, stare at the flag. Follow the trace to go up. Right, let's go. Cannot go. Oh, now we can go. So short? Yeah, sure. okay. So, salute the martyrs and uh, martyrs. martyrs and uh, inherit the spirit. Inherit the spirit mm. of the martyrs mm. and die as well. Mm. Yeah. Alright, so this was our quick visit in Communist Amusement Park, memory site for the fighters of independent and dependent China. What do you think about this whole thing? I want to give suggestion to foreigners don't make jokes here because it's a very serious place. But um, but we welcome all the foreigners to come here to respect and to to show your respect and to to learn knowledge from here. Please. Sure. Now one thing I can say, the problem with places like this, from my perspective as a foreigner, is that although the true kind of victims of different fights on the you know wide spectrum of the time frame from 1917 to 1949 pretty much so the way people memorized here fighting for both sides pretty much for all possible fractions in china but it's hard to treat it completely seriously now when it's nothing much more than just propaganda place unfortunately I mean, one point is good to remember people, remind people that uh, there is a history. Once there was a bad, uh, bad things was happening in China, people don't have freedom, don't have good life as today. And so hey, today, today you mean? As today, as good as today. So we should be grateful and support our country, support our country. No, right, 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 right. Now tell me, because I'm interested. People come here, you know, we see, we see hundreds of children today, yes? Uh, groups of all, like, like grown people too, and we see also like a adults coming separately. What actually Chinese people think about places like this? Besides of like a common understanding of the official message, what do they really think about it? Place like this, when they come to a place like this. As a tourist, this is a attraction, a place of attraction to visit. Like, you know, you go to a place and there are a few places that are very famous, so then they have this impression in their head that they have to come here to take photos and to prove that they've been here and to see everything. And for just local people, students, and this is a place of education, and hmm. like a tradition. So we get used to it and, <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, children, they are children. All the activities, they can, they can go out with their classmates. Our attraction. They just you know, play with people. Yeah, maybe they can Not see only a foreigner. in the classroom and the study, it's boring. Right. The first moment when I start my job, start to work in the university, and they organize us to come to this place. It's like it, it's what? It's a alarm for us. No. It's what do you mean alarm? An obligatory thing. Yes. Yeah, like you, you just start. The a new job in a new place and they, they give you this training as a training uh, or education so it's a long and also something a lesson how you call it just uh, this is the function of this place mm. and also you know i really said that this place is very good nature in the nature a lot of forest and just full of people who live by it just 
come they come like to a park. As a park. Yeah. Okay, let's go out. Sign after sign, character after character, what it means. Progress, progress, Nanjing. Overcome difficulties for people. And then the lower part? <laughs> it's a community. Make this statement. What? This is the name of this community. What, what? The name of this community, this residential district. Ah, okay, okay. Mm.